Hi, this is Josh. Today we're going to talk about how to delete the Xbox 360 XE GPU. So why might you need to do this? Well, I would say most of the time, these days, you don't have to yet. However, occasionally I'll run into a system where the SMC has to spin the fan up a lot higher to keep the uh, uh, temperatures at the thermal targets. And remember that the 360's fan control is dynamic. It's not a fixed fan curve. So if the fan's higher, it means there's worse thermal conductivity. So um, in those cases, it can be helpful to delid the chip and replace the paste underneath the IHS. But most consoles so far in 2023 don't need it. But uh, perhaps in the future, it will become a more common requirement. So it's actually pretty easy to do. Now uh, we have here the little razor blade, you can get these really cheap on Amazon, that's all you need, something like this. And I'm gonna overlay on the video a picture of the actual chip so that you can um, see how far you wanna go in because you don't wanna go that far into the chip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our razor blade and we're gonna put it in between the IHS and the substrate. All we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly rock the razor blade back and forth it's a little bit tricky to do because it's kind of hard to get a good grip on it when it's near the board, but just keep trying and eventually you'll see it will start to... We're going to keep uh, gently... All right, and there we go. We're in our first side. That's as far as we're going to go under the chip. No further than that. All right, now I'm going to take the blade out. And we're going to rotate the motherboard. And I'm going to repeat the same procedure here. On this side, now because that corner already is sliced, it's kind of easier to come in on that side. And there we go. Now I'm going to rotate the board to this side because this is the hardest this is the hardest side due to all those caps there so I typically do it last then again we can edge in because that corner is already sliced and you can see once you already have one corner sliced it becomes really easy so you can see not putting it in very far just a little bit definitely don't want to uh, force it because then you could damage the uh, components on the uh, substrate there and now the final side this is the hard side because you get these caps in the way um, if you've got fingernails, it can kind of help to go in these little grooves on the razor blade. So on the final side here, we're going to do the same. Very gently. And just like that, we're done. Now this is important. We do not want to remove this black uh, sealant from either the substrate or the IHS. Why? Well, there are two dyes on this package. The CGPU die is designed by ATI and IBM with Microsoft, and the EDRAM die is designed by NEC with Microsoft. In addition to that, there are manufacturing tolerances. So due to this, they are not exactly the same height. The same thing is true about the FAT360 GPU. Due to this, if you remove this black sealant here, when you put the IHS back on, it may sit at an angle it may not sit perfectly flat over the CGPU die, and this is the die that really is gonna put out most of the heat. This die, it doesn't put out a lot of heat. So, we need to be sure that the IHS is sitting flat on here. Now, if you look at the thermal paste patterns, you'll notice that there's a thicker layer of paste on the EDRAM versus the main die, and that is because the EDRAM is slightly, slightly lower. So, by keeping this black sealant on, it helps to keep the IHS level when you put it back on. My preferred method of reattaching the chip is simply to put four dots of high temperature glue on the corners and then put the chip back on and uh, then also install a heatsink and X clamp in order to put even pressure on the uh, IHS while it seals. And that also allows very easy opening in the future. So that's it.